ni vijana wanajulikana tu. Nilisikia sauti moja ambayo walikuwa wakisema hivi. Fungua ama tupite na mlango. Mount Elgon, a place with rich history. It derives its name from the Elgonia tribe who inhabited the huge caves by the mountain. To both the Kenyan Maasai tribe and the Ugandan Masawa tribe, Mount Elgon is known as Oldoinyo Lgon, which means the breast mountain due to its shape. On the Ugandan side, Mount Elgon was also known as Masaba Mountain. Mount Elgon sits in Transzoia County, currently led by Honorable George Natembea as the governor. In Kenya, this is the home to the Sabaot community, who are a sub-tribe of the Kalenjin who largely occupy the Rift Valley region in Kenya. During the colonial days, the British displaced many native Sabaots. Their fertile farming land was given to new settlers, who later became farmers in the area. After independence in 1963, the Kenyan government allocated 19,000 acres of land to landless farmers in Chebuk area, and this is where trouble began. Many years later, in 2005, the Sabaot Land Defense Forces, SLDF, was formed to resist the government eviction of squatters in Mount Elgon region. <laughs> Hiyo hii imetumaliza kabisa. Hata sisi kukaa hapa mimi wasilali kwa nyumba. Nikilala hapa ni kidogo tu. Lakini singizi haikuji. Ninaamua niende nje asubuhi nikuje nifanye kazi. Wame shoot mzee hapo tu, hapo ngambo. Wame shoot mzee mwingine hapo amekufa, amelala chini wakakata kata. Wakaingia kwa boma ingine hapo wakakata mama mpaka wanaharibu haribu huko mkono. There were claims of corruption and land grabbing in the settlement process. Further, claims were made that the outfit was formed and equipped by local politicians to prevent the resettlement process. After this formation was declared a militia in 2006 after raining terror on the residents, the situation was getting out of hand and the government had to think of a way to restore sanity in the troubled Mount Elgon region. All this time, one name stood out of all the undertones. It was evident that the person was powerful and most feared by the residents. Wycliffe Matakwei Kirui Komon, a former presidential bodyguard, had assumed power. He was at the helm, hence the leader of the Sabaot Land Defense Forces, SLDF. The SLDF would later be claimed to have turned into a political militia during the 207-208 post-election violence. Walikuwa na uwa tu, walikuwa na nia ya kuwa. Hawa kujua kabisa kiini ya nyeo kabisa. Alavu wakati wanapo kubora wanakuambia, enda ambia maskari, enda wambie. Sisi ndiyo dulukusha tunapora. Kama, kama hapa masa ye. Wa, ma, police watu walikimbia wameingiliwa wakakimbia mpaka kwa polisi ma polisi nao wanatoroka hawa hapa hivi hapa kama sisi wakaji wa Kurungotunyi hao watu walitokea walitokea saidi hiyo wakakuja mpaka mtoni hapa watu wakaamka huko wakapiga nduru hapo chini wakaambia tu wa, wa, wanauma wakachukuliwa wawili ni unaona hata tukifanya kazi mpaka uwe na panga yako yeah. Hata usiku kilala, unalala na panga yako. Saba kitoka mbaya, pasu ya nao unachamunu. Alia on, the area MP Honorable John Sirut was also targeted where he survived an assassination attempt when gunmen opened fire at him as he gave a speech in Chepsokwoni area in May of 2007 during the presidential campaigns. It's alleged that the militia was against Sirut who was vying on a pioneer ticket, but they preferred the then ODM candidate, hence the scaffold. After the 207-208 post-election violence, it was reported that more than 600 people had been killed in the Mount Elgon area and thousands displaced by the Sabaot Land Defense Forces. In March of 2008, under Operation Ok 
kwa maisha security officers comprising of the army and the police were deployed in the Mount Elgon region to quell an insurgency by the Sabaot Land Defense Forces SLDF a militia group that had for a while now claimed to be fighting for the land rights of the Sabaot community. The operation Okomaisha was so vigorous that according to human rights groups, there were claims of cases of torture, rape, displacement and killing of civilians. On the 16th of May 2008, the self-proclaimed commander of Sabaot Land Defense Forces Wycliffe Matakwei Kirui Komon was killed in an operation. According to the then police spokesperson Eric Kiraide, Matakwei, who was only 24 years old, had been killed in a fierce gunfire battle together with other 12 SLDF members. Today, Mount Elgon enjoys peace and unity. A calm vicinity of Mount Elgon greets you as you get the region with its fresh air. A buzzing economy mainly fueled by farming because Mount Elgon in itself is the water tower of the rivers in western Kenya. Welcome to Mount Elgon and enjoy the hospitality of the Sabaot, a border community that stretches from Kenya to Uganda.